Well, hey guys, it's Viejo here, and it is the second week of September in 2023. Got another nice day here on the central coast of California. Um, I got uh, 72 degrees here in the garage. It's close to that outside, too. Got some high clouds today. In fact, there were uh, some rain squalls sitting just offshore all night long. Um, they never did make landfall, though. We could have used a little bit of rain, but didn't get it. Hey, I've got an unboxing for you here today. And this comes to me from one of our favorite channels, Reloading from the Hot Pot. Um, he had mentioned that he was going to send me something, but I'm not real sure what's in here. It showed up yesterday, um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and open it up with you guys, and let's find out what's in here. All right, we're going to uh, open this up with uh, one of our new little acquisitions here. This was a door prize from Hillbilly Up's channel, and nice little... Um, Single blade knife, real handy, slim line. Okay, works really great. So let's go ahead and get some of this opened up here. I think that's gonna do it. Yeah, all right. Okay, we got a little bit of packing material that's glued to the <laughs> inside lip of that. Oh, this is brass. Oh boy, and I know what kind of brass this is too. Okay, so what Gene uh, over at Reloading from the Hot Pot has sent me is some 10 millimeter brass and he knows that I'm working on a new 10 millimeter project. Um, I just bought a new uh, Kimber 1911 in 10 millimeter and uh, I don't know if I told you guys or not. Um, I, I've been kind of holding off on, on showing you that pistol for one thing. It's not in my hands anymore. I took it to the range the first day and it made it through about 40 rounds of factory ammo and the front sight fell off. It didn't come loose. It fell off. Fell the heck off. <laughs> so uh, drove back home promptly took it back into the lgs where i where i had purchased it and said hey fix it so it had to go back to kimber but in the meantime um i've been uh, accumulating a little bit of brass here and there because this was my first 10 millimeter and i didn't have any brass so um gene knew that i kind of w was looking for some small primer um 10 millimeter brass and the, the reason for that is is I just have a lot more small primers on hand than I do large prim, uh, pistol primers and I've kind of been doing the same thing with my 45 ACP I've been shooting almost all entirely small pistol or small primer um, brass lately so anyway I've got 10 millimeter small primer brass okay And this one, this stuff has all been deprimed and cleaned. It looks, looks like it's processed already. Oh, that's even better. Wow, Gene. And this one looks like it's unprocessed. Yeah, so this just needs to, needs to go through the Viejo process and get cleaned up. It appears to be mixed head stamp. Are these all the same? Yeah, it's going to be mixed brass. So that's that's cool. So we will get uh, through this stuff and uh, get it put into service. And then uh, hopefully within a week or two, I'll have that pistol back. It's been gone a week already. So, all right. There's, and there's a bunch of brass there. There's two packages of that stuff. Very nice. All right, thank you so much, Gene. Um, that, uh, more than more than generous of you. And, and guys, um, Gene, there at Reloading from the Hot Pot, he has helped out a lot of guys, okay, in a, in a lot of different ways. And he's a he's a caster, he's a reloader, and he's a shooter. He's got a great channel going, and and so does uh, Ms. Hotshot. In fact, I will put links for both of their 
channels down in the description box. So go check out both of those folks, okay? Um, they're, they're wonderful people. They do a lot of video for us. You can catch Gene frequently on some of the popular uh, shooting chat channels, such as Georgia Shooting Connection and Hillbilly Up, okay? He's uh, a popular panelist, and, and you'll see him frequently if you're subscribed to his channel. Anyway, go do it. Take a look at their channel. Okay, tell them Viejo sent you. And, and I, I appreciate this very much, Gene. Very, very generous of you. You know, we've got a great community going here, um, and we all kind of help each other out whenever we can, and, and Gene is uh, no exception to that. In fact, he's right on top of the list as far as I'm con concerned. So anyway, thanks again, buddy, and we'll be talking to you soon. But from the Viejo bench for now, that's all she wrote. <laughs>